Hey guys, it's me Sam and welcome to today's video which is going to be me showing you what I keep in my bath pamper hamper. Now obviously all the goodies I've got I haven't actually been able to keep in my little hamper box. So basically I am mainly using that for goodies I will be showing you very shortly but as well as my hamper box and yes you may recognise it. It is indeed the hamper that you got with so well as pump hamper that was available around Christmas time and I picked up from Superdrug for about £17 in the Boxing Day sales. But I've also got this big bag full of stuff here of other stuff that I like to use either in the bath or in the shower and I just thought you know I may as well show you these things at the same time. Uh, I think I'm going to begin by showing you what's in the bag first and then we will move on to the goodies that I have within my hamper box because as some of you will know I have recently become addicted to Lush and there are a lot of Lush products in there as well as in this bag as well so I'm going to take great delight in sharing those goodies with you but as I said let's begin with what's in this bag and get me for being a proper YouTuber today. I have indeed got a candle in the background burning, although you probably can't see the flame because it's quite low down within the container. But just to prove a point, guys, watch. Look, candle burning. Oh, it smells delightful. Well, yeah, let's get that back over there. It needs to be in the background. One cannot be a proper YouTuber without having a candle burning in the background by all counts. Really. So I think, I think, to begin, I'm going to go through shower gels I've got. That yes, you know, I do use in the shower, but obviously I do also like to use the wash myself with when I'm in the bath. So let's begin with shower gels. And the first one I'm going to show you is this one from Lynx. It's a, a body wash and it says attract for her refreshing fragrances. I haven't used this yet. I had this bought for me for Christmas just gone. It smells very refreshing, I can say that much. Not the kind of thing that I probably would normally use, but maybe if I am in a rush in the morning, I can probably see myself grabbing this and give myself a good old scrubby D scrub with before skizzling off to work. Uh, the next shower gel I'm going to show you is this one from Imperial Leather. It is their Relaxing Lavender and Jasmine Shower Cream. I love using this in the shower just before I go to bed. I find that it um, helps one with going to sleep because as it said it's very relaxing and as we all know lavender is known for knocking you out because it's got knocking out powers in it apparently. So there's that one. This one I'm going to show you is from Nivea. It's their Cashmere Moments Cream Shower Oil. It contains cashmere extract and essential scent of orchard orchid blossom. Oh, it smells absolutely delightful. I'm not quite sure how long I've actually had this for. I can't remember when I bought it, to be perfectly honest, but it is really, really nice. The next two shower gels I'm going to show you are from Sanctuary Spa, which you can normally find in Boots. And this was part of a set that I had bought for me, not Christmas just gone, nor the Christmas before that. But indeed, the Christmas before that. So about three years now? Got to be around that. Three years I've had these. But they are still as good and gorgeous as they were when I first received them. Obviously, I haven't used them as much as I should have done really but um, other things kind of like get in the way and there are a couple of other products that I'm going to show you as well they're not shower gels they're actual scrubs but let's talk about the shower gels first let's get these out of the way uh, the first one I'm going to show you is this one which is the white lily and damask rose body wash one of the things I like about these shower gels is that yes you've got a lid there but then you've got another lid inside it which keeps it all contained and tight and oh smells absolutely fine and you can see it called beads in it i don't know if you can pick them up in the camera but i do enjoy using this product and the other shower gel is uh or should i should say body wash is this one 
which is their Cleansing Burst Body Wash. And I'm trying to read about my glasses on. Let me just get them on. This is an aromatic cleanser infused with essential oils and bursting with moisturising capsules for silky, revealing skin. And this has got like a, an orangey kind of... Oh, I don't know, I don't know about orangey, but it's quite citrusy. But I absolutely love this. I've got a smaller one, which is probably one of the reasons why I haven't been using this one as much. I've been trying to get through the small one first, but... There is that one. And as well as that, I also have this uh, Gentle Polish by Scrub from Sanctuary Spa. Uh, this is just a natural scrub that's so gentle you can use it every day to leave your skin feeling cleansed, radiant and refined. And I just love using this, you know, just to give myself a good scrub with, you know, wipe my body up. It's got like, it's, it's, it's infused with the natural pumice particles and essential oils, uh, which will... Leave your skin feeling velvety smooth. And as well as that, I have also got this scrub. It is their ultimate salt scrub. Uh, this says cocoon your body with our iconic Dead Sea salt scrub to leave your skin feeling perfectly polished and gorgeously moisturised. And I haven't even opened this yet at all. Now this contains salts from the Dead Sea and a rich oil blend of Jehovah coconut and almond oils to create a truly luxurious exfoliating experience to use it says for a quick fix massage just generous scoop onto your drenched skin and rinse off in a warm shower and if you've got the luxury of a few more minutes massage gently onto your dry skin sink into a warm bath and allow the softening oils to melt over your body rinse to reveal beautifully polished renewed and super moisturized skin discover the ultimate in skin polishing indulgence now, as i said i haven't even used it yet so i will have to need to work well i really should use it at some point or what I, I can see it going off not that it says it has gone off date on there but as i said i really should use it right the next product i'm going to show you is this from a company called Bodhi, and this is their mint tea refreshing bath and shower therapy now apparently you can use it as a bubble bath and you can also use it as a shower gel and I was actually given this by Stuart apparently if only two in his nan's house when they were doing the clean house and he thought I might appreciate it and I was like well I've never heard of it so I actually looked up this product and it isn't cheap it's not cheap at all I know that much but I don't really know much else about it and I've only used it a couple of times to be perfectly honest because it is really really minty it's the kind of thing that you would probably use if you've got a cold it could come in handy for that, I suppose. Uh, on the back it says, Rejuvenate the body and mind by revitalising infusion of peppermint, frankincense and eucalyptus. This is not for the faint-hearted. Get your skin and senses ready for an instant burst of life. Skin is highly refreshed and rejuvenated, cleansed but never taught or dry. So it's all skin type, especially dull, dull or oily and it's great for after sports. Spots? Me? Me? Um, so yeah, you apply this to your heart, to your, the palm of your hand, lava, wherever your body, massage over the body, you know, like rinsey rinsey. Uh, or pour livery under warm running water for a deep therapeutic soak. So this could be good, to be perfectly honest, to use, say, because I know I'm going to get achy leg syndrome for the first couple of weeks while I'm walking to work and back. So this could be something to pour under warm running water and then sick myself in the bath to relieve the stress from my legs uh the next product i'm going to show you is this luxurious bath and shower cream from monsoon this was the shower cream that came with the perfume that i so showed you yesterday in my perfume collection and if you don't know what i'm going about go and watch my perfume collection video and then you will but this is the shower cream that accompanied it and to be perfectly honest as i said in that video i was really really disappointed by this because it hardly smells of anything whatsoever i can just just about smell the scent coming through but it's as i said very disappointing packaging's pretty fair and the next one i'm going to show you is actually part of my Suella Pampa Hamper. Uh, at some point I will be doing a review on the products from Suella's Pampa Hamper, but I need to use all the products first before I can do so, otherwise I can't really give you an honest 
opinion on it. And this is well as shower glaze. This is in the gingerbread scent that obviously she released last Christmas. And oh, what can I say about this? It is actually really, really quite pleasant. You can definitely smell the vanilla-y gingerbread smell coming through. But I have to say, I, I mean, well, I'm not going to say much more because otherwise it's going to disappoint the review. But I don't think I would buy the shower glaze again. And that's all I'm going to say on that for now. Right, before I move on to showing you my shower gels and jellies from Lush, I thought I would quickly show you the scrubs I've got. And also something that I and everyone probably uses when they're in the bath. Otherwise, how do you shave your pits on your legs? I know obviously you can buy razors that have got stuff infused on them. And I have to admit, for the last couple of months, I have been using those kind of razors myself. So this shaving cream, unfortunately, has been a little bit redundant for the last couple of months. But this is my go-to shaving gel. I picked this up from Poundland, so obviously it only costs me a pound. And it is a com from a company called Supermax. And it's their Shimmer shave gel with aloe vera i love this stuff whether it actually leaves a shiver on my legs i am not convinced by it that it does but the fact that it does actually leave my legs feeling really silky smooth when i do use it you know totally totally love it okay sh I, the scrubs i'm going to show you right the first one is this one from Enspa. now Enspa you can normally find in the Aston super supermarkets and this is their relaxing patchouli lang lang smoothing sugar scrub. You have to take this bit out from inside it as well to get to it. Oh, it smells so gorgeous. I love the scent of patchouli as it is. And you can smell the lang lang coming through as well. And as it states, it is indeed a sugar scrub. So I find that when I apply it to the skin, when I'm in the shower, if I'm in the bath and I'm having a good old pamper sesh, I find that it... it kind of like dissolved quite quickly uh, on the back it says that it eats uh contains mango seed oil and natural sugar buffs away your dead skin cells obviously because that's what sugar scrubs are designed to do it leaves your skin feeling renewed ready to de-end and restored inspired by relaxing spa trims and infused with essential oil patchouli and lang lang to calm the body and mind i think i made about three pounds for it so you know nothing spectacular in price but i wanted it so i did burnt it the next two body scrubs i'm going to show you guys saw quite recently because i bought them from my local savers they cost a pound each and they're both from a company called bioglow and i was informed not that long ago in fact in response to the shopping haul video which these features did these normally cost about six pounds on amazon so for me to get them for a quid each, I am very impressed and think, what a dumb bargain. Nice one, Savers. Uh, I haven't used this one yet, so I really can't give you a review on it. But I can tell you it smells absolutely gorgeous. But this one I have used, and oh my goodness, it smelled just like apricots afterwards. And it left my skin feeling so bloody silky and smooth afterwards. It was a delight to use it. Oh, it smells lovely. And the final body scrub I've got, I'm going to show you. I found it in Superdrug just before Christmas, I think. I think it might be November, beginning of December time. And it's a Flutter body scrub. And you can find Flutter, as I said, in Superdrug. And it doesn't really tell you much about it, to be perfect on it, perfectly honest. Other than it's suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Uh, packaging is very pretty, very cute. Got Eco Kit Cat on there, which I think what is what probably coaxed me to buying it really. And the fact that it was only a pound as well. And uh, I like the smell of it. Oh, it's got like a strawberry scent to it, but that's without me spilling it everywhere is what it looks like. It reminds me of strawberry yogurt. And a very, you know, yes, it's a body scrub. I wouldn't say that the scrub within it is anywhere near intense as say for example that one it's just a nice light scrubby feel to the body and it really just leaves your skin feeling really silky smooth afterwards 
Oh, I just need to slurp with my tea because my voice is getting a little bit hoarse. Right, I'm now going to show you my shower gels and jelly from Lush. And as I said, you know, you can use these products in the bath as well as in the shower. So always good to be perfectly honest. First one I'm going to show you is one of the first Lush products I ever picked up from the Worcester store. And this is their Woosh Shower Jelly. When I first came across these, I was like a jelly. What on earth? What on earth? Oh God, that smell even now gets me. It really does. Uh, that is what it looks like. Isn't that not like the most funkiest blue going on this planet? It's amazing. And I found there is actually a sell-by date on this. I was supposed to use it up by the 20, the 20th of November. Oh, I'm so thick. I thought I had to use this up last November. No, 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 no. Stick your glasses on, woman. See, I should have gone to Specsavers. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I did go to Specsavers. The use by date is the 20th of the 11th, 17. So I can use this. This, this is going to last me until November. And there was me thinking I needed to get through it. Oh, thank goodness for that. I don't. I can make this last me for as long as I want now. And just so I can mention his name, thank you very much, Sean, for making this. Top stuff, love. Um, yeah, this this is just gorgeous, absolutely amazing. It contains lemon, lime and rosemary and it just basically gives you a kick up the backside and wakes you up. It's, it's amazing. I love this stuff. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is this Twilight Shower Gel. I bought this in the, on the online Boxing Day sale. I really, really wanted it couldn't get it in the store because it had gone so I was lucky enough to be able to get it online and so I ordered myself this and once again another product made by Sean Sean does make seem to make a lot of things from the showers but he must be good at what he does and this I have used if I, I've only used it once and I used it at the weekend I wanted to well, I had a bath and I wanted to make sure that I was knocked out, I wanted to get to sleep. So I scrubbed one's body with it and it worked. It worked. It, it worked. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, this contains Sweet Tonka, Lang Ylang and Benzoin Resonoid. It also contains lavender as well and just delightful. And the final product I'm going to show you that is part of more shower gels and shower jellies and shower stuff full stop is this beautiful beautiful snow fairy shower gel that i was able to pick up from the Worcester store when i went down there on boxing day i don't care whether i had to stand outside for nearly about half an hour waiting to get in there i do not care because it's worth it for me to get my bloody hands on this i've always wanted to try it and now i have it oh what a scent and uh, what can i tell you about this it, it smells like candy simple as that so now i've managed to get through all the goodies that i haven't been able to get into my bath hamper box because i've got that much stuff i just there was just no room simple as that and honestly you, you, <laughs> well, i've taken everything out of the hamper and now i can see why because there is absolutely shed loads i have got so much there and i keep saying to myself why why do you need to keep going back to lush for now sam you've got enough stuff there to keep you going for the next few months but i'm so desperate to get down to lush i am so so desperate i want some of the valentine's goodies i just do <sighs> why did they have to lose my job why am i going to wait till the end of february to get paid i'm just hoping i'm hoping that they might still have some of the valentine's stuff on sale when I get paid and then I'm just going to buy as much as I freaking can but right let's let's show you what I actually keep in my hamper box and the best thing I'm going to show you are these bath salts these are from a company called West Lab these are their Himalayan salts and they are excellent for detoxifying of the body they contain over 80 minerals I don't know can you see it Look, the, the, the pink. And I thought they do actually send your water a slight hint of pink. That's not the reason why I've got them. The reason why I got them at the time is because I was told that they would be excellent for soothing my tired legs. Because as you all know, I used to 
walk home from walk to work and back and obviously i'm going to be doing that again so i can see this coming in handy again um i think normally you can find this in boots and i think it finds between three and six pounds but i was able to find this in pound land so obviously i only paid a pound for it best pound ever i mean obviously i haven't used like loads of this about half a bag left and you are meant to use around 500 grams for each bath which would be the full bag which is because it is 500 grams and uh, yeah it, oh sorry it's at the top it tells you instructions for use i mean i've given up the glasses on i've got no excuse for that the self salts into a bath of 37 to 39 degrees centigrade relax and soak for 20 minutes for a detoxifying bath use 500 grams to a kilogram and um, for a general skin health and well-being add 100 grams to 250 um so i think i went for the 100 grams to 250 hence why this about half bag still but this this i it's a blessing because you've got tired, achy limbs. Right, the next thing I'm going to show you is this bath and shower foam that I found in my local Asda. I think I paid around £2 for it because I think they actually had reduced it at the time. And I bought this early in December time and I think I've used it once. And then I discovered Lush and that was it game over. This is a Raspberry Pavlova scent. And I can quite honestly say that it really does smell like raspberry pavlova. It smells absolutely delightful. Uh, it's another one that comes from Enspa. And this is their Let Them Eat Cake Raspberry Pavlova Bath and Shower Foam. And on the back it says, there's never a bad time to indulge your skin and your senses. This Everly scent is intensely relaxing and delightful, luxurious shower and bath foam. It is the perfect pick-me-up. Whipped together with real raspberry extract and sweet almond oil, this little treat will shroud you in bubbles and, un oh, and I can never say this word, unadulterated bliss. And as I said, I've only used it once. I really should maybe try it again. But I've got so many things on Lush. Uh, this is just some bog standard bath fizzler. I bought this as a pack of three. It was like built in a triangle. I'm sure I showed it in one of my shopping hauls. You had a tiny one, a medium sized one, and this is the big one. And I got these from Body Care. I think I paid about one ninety nine. No, I think they were three ninety. I don't know, I can't remember, but I, well, I don't rate them. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say, which is why well, I've not used this one. Um, I probably will at some point. Maybe I can shove it in with a, that nice bubble bath that I've just showed you. It does turn your water a pink shade, but it, there's not much of a scent. And it's just, I think it's more of the fact that it does turn your water pink, but wouldn't buy them again. Uh, the next three products I'm going to show you are from Suella. And I'm not going to go into much detail about them, apart from the one product I can, because that wasn't in the pamper hamper. Um, but the first thing I'm going to show you is Suella's Bath Vizsla. There it is. Still haven't used it. I've opened it up to have a look at it. I'm not going to get it out. You know, if you want to see what it looks like, there's plenty of other videos out there that you can go and have a look to see. Can't really smell much of the scent coming through because obviously it's still wrapped inside plastic within the actual exterior packaging that you get and and as well as that i've also got swellers gingerbread bath salts that i also haven't opened but this weekend when i have my usual weekly pamper i'm planning on trying these two products out together and as i said at some point i will be doing a review on swellers pamper hamper products so i can give you my thoughts and opinions on them so those are those two out the way and now i can move on to this and this is Suella's Deck the Baubles Bubble Bath. And as you can see, it does indeed look like a bauble. And you've got lovely Suella's name on the front as well. Suella Beauty. And I can just about read what it says on the front. But this is, once again, the gingerbread vanilla -y scent. And my goodness, you can really, really smell that coming through. So I'm thinking... I will be also, because I haven't tried this yet, I will use these three products together at the weekend. 
because this is just a fizz that I know it's not going to really do much to the water so I'm going to whack a bit of it in and then I've got some of Suella's gingerbread bath salt to also whack in there to give my body a bit of a well it says it will leave my skin feeling energised and refreshed so let's see if it does and then for some bubbles I'll add some of the bubble bath and I'll come out stinking of gingerbread I've got that much loose stuff on the bottom on the floor i just i just don't know which one to show you first i just so much to choose from and the first thing i am going to show you is my santa fun which i was able to get from the worcester store on boxing day as you can see it was 50 percent off so i think i paid around 2.95 for it and i've never used that fun before and it seems very squidgy i'm sure it didn't used to be this squidgy unless my daughter and the audacity to open this, she wouldn't have done what she no. Oh, squishy. Stop it, Sam. We're not playing with it yet. Put it, put it, put it, put it. Right, anyway. Apparently I can make my own Santa out of this. And this was made by Wojek. And this will last for a long, long time. So I don't need to worry about using this up. Right. Now, uh, I've got one of their bath melts. This is the Razzle Dazzle one, which, oh dear, I think I might have to use soon because that, that's been melting. Oh, that's a shame. Look, it's been melting onto the paper, so I might have to use that sooner than I wanted to. Oh, I feel they don't last that long then, do they? Well, that's a bit devastating, really. I could go into great details about the scent and whatever else you need about these, I suppose, but I haven't really got time to, not unless you want me to be sat here forever and ever, but I can tell you it just contains sheer butter, and it's pink, and it's bloody melting. Oh, this here be the mistletoe bath bomb. Oh, once again, pick this up on Boxing Day from the Worcester store. God, that is such an amazing scent and it's just an absolutely gorgeous looking bath bomb. Uh, within these bags we've got some of the bare, I can't remember the cord. Useless woman, useless. But these are the teddy bear bath bombs that you can get at Christmas time. These smell like, that's it, it's the butter bear. Oh, actually so done yeah these are the butter bear bath bombs these contain um cocoa powder i think oh i know these because i used one up yeah i originally had three i used one at the weekends and oh my god it just leaves your skin feeling so bloody moisturized afterwards and you, you can feel it instantly as soon as you get into water which didn't really turn any kind of particular color but what i did like was the gold shimmer that came out of them so it was like flecks of gold in the bath water which made me very excited indeed so um yeah not only do they leave your skin feeling smooth you also got flecks of gold that make, make you feel like a queen when you're having a soak which is nice this be here the northern lights bath bomb which i am dying to use and it seems to be disintegrating in my bath, so I could do reviews of that quite soon. It smells absolutely bloody delightful and looks flaming cool as hell. Oh my god, is that a crack in it? Oh my god. <gasps> Chunk just fell off. That's not good. Is that meant to happen? Oops. This is the Think Pink bath bomb that I picked up from the Birmingham store on my birthday. And I think I showed you this, guys, a few weeks ago. And originally, only one of the flowers had fell off. Now all of the flowers have fell off. Look, that does not impress me in the least. But it's still a very pretty bath bomb, I would say. It's the cheap, one of the cheapest ones I do. I think they're about £2.75. And they send your bath colour the most amazing shade of pink. It's unbelievable. And the scent is just delightful. I just... Not impressed by the flowers falling off. Well, this is the absolutely gorgeous luxury lush put bath bomb. Once again, I picked up on Boxing Day from the Worcester store. And it didn't look like that when I first bought it. The bell smells just as bloody nice, though. 
right in here I have got come here um here uh, the candy mountain bubble bar once again pick this one up um boxing day from the Worcester store I also have another one of these that I picked up from the Birmingham store on my birthday here it is and as you can see I mean I so far I've used this in two baths oh god that scent is just absolutely delightful so I reckon I could get at least another two out of that but I just wanted to stock up that's why I got that one on Boxing Day because I was like, well, I like that scent. I just do. Right, this is the Lord of Misrule bath bomb that I also picked up from the Worcester store on Boxing Day. And though this is not part of the Christmas range, this was actually part of the Halloween range, they still obviously had some knocking about it. And uh, it's just an offence why it was 50% uh, off. So... I grabbed myself one. I have heard a lot of great reviews about these. As you can see, obviously, still haven't used it. Oh my god, that smells so, so good. Within this bag here, I don't know if you can make them up, but there's old uh, Father Christmas bath bomb that I was able to get on the online sale for Boxing Day. Um, the reason why I put them into these bags is basically they don't come bean bags, they actually come like exposed so this is just to basically keep them contained and nothing bad will happen to them i might obviously need to do that with the others because they seem to be disintegrating which is a shame this smells very very similar to the candy mounting and the snow fairy scents which i think they're all very much the same i think they are the same but oh absolutely gorgeous Okay, and here we have the Stardust bath bomb, which I picked up from <coughs> Great. I'm now covered in bl bloody white powder. As I was saying, first I started choking on, choking on the fumes and having powder dropped all over me. Uh, I picked this up from the Birmingham store on my birthday. I bought one of these before. Absolutely loved it because you have like blue stuff comes out of it and it's just amazing. Once again, this is one of the cheap ones that they did. I don't think they'll be selling these again because obviously these were part of the Christmas range, but absolutely bloody lovely. Oh, here he is, Mr. Pingu. Bless him. Here is my Christmas penguin bubble bar. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, gorgeous. And he, oh, he's so fucking cute. Look at him. I said, look at him. I had to have him. I just did. Oh, so cute. In here I am suffocating the Peeping Santa wobble bar that I got online on the Boxing Day sale. Another one I couldn't find in store when I went to Worcester on Boxing Day. But luckily I was able to get my hands on one via the online sale instead. So I was really, really happy by that. And... This is probably one of my most favourite bath bombs that Lush did at Christmas. This is the Shoot from the Stars bath bomb. And it is starting to like crumble <coughs> in places. It's also making me cough quite a great deal as well. This is another one I'm really looking forward to using. That's if I don't choke to death first. Right, this next one I'm going to get out. I'm glad I'm getting out. I'm actually going to leave my fingers all covered in gold glitter. But God, just look at this. This is the Golden Wonder bath bomb, designed to look like a Christmas present. And this is like the biggest bath bomb I have ever seen in my entire life. And I'm literally trying to save this for a special occasion. This smells so fucking nice. Do excuse the language, but I'm sorry. It's the only way I can describe it. It is just amazing and delicious and oh get back in there and look leaves gold shit all over your fingers too another one that's also renowned for leaving gold shit over your fingers is this gorgeous little bath melt this is the snow fairy i think it's snow fairy snow angel it was the snow angel bath melt and as you can see i've decided to suffocate her too 
by keeping, keeping her contained within this plastic bag because this was one of the ones that I got on the online sale for Boxing Day and smells like marzipan I completely forgot about these now these aren't actually from Lush these are some cute little bath confetti from Flutter that Jessica bought me for Christmas I must have got underneath the cabinet somehow. I've got the, um, oh wow, well, never thought. I'm going to show you them now. But yeah, uh, Jessica bought me these for Christmas. They're from Flutter, which you can find in Superdrug. And yeah, as you can see, it's just pink and white confetti that you chuck in your bath and makes it look all pretty. And the final product I'm going to show you that I keep in my bath hamper is. One thing in the world I've always, always wanted, and it is indeed my magic wand, bubble butt, what dreams are made of. It jingles, I love the way that that bell jingles, and I obviously haven't used it yet, and it's why it still looks brand spankingly new. It has the gorgeous snow fairy scent to it, and there you go, my lovelies, that is what's in my bath pamper hamper thank you very much for watching sorry it was a little bit long-winded i'm gonna sleep my tea it's gone cold now but never mind so yeah as i said i'm, I'm sorry that was a little bit long-winded but i'm trying to make up for the fact that i'm not going to be here as much as of next week am i so you know oh what can i say you know i have lots of goodies to use up lots of baths to have and lots of bath bombs to use up and I still have that craving to go to Lush and get some Blessed Valentine goodies. Unless Lush would like to send me some freebies, that would be appreciated. But other than that, as usual guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, if you'd like to leave a comment, please do so by leaving them down below. As always, if you have enjoyed watching, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And um if you've been watching my videos for a while, or if you are a newbie to my videos and you've enjoyed this watch, why not subscribe to me? Go on, press that button and subscribe. The more subscribers, the more happier Sam is. And that way I get to share my love with more of you out there. So that's, that's it, is that, that is done. Now, before I end this video, I've just got to share a little spot of happiness that has occurred in my life today. For a while I have been wondering, because I've seen other YouTubers doing it and I know other people would do it and I was like, I wonder if I can do it. How do I link my Skybox up with my YouTube channel? It turns out I was able to do it. I have now been able to work out how to do it. I fell asleep and I was determined to get it because I wanted to get onto Lush's website. Look guys, it's me! I'm on my freaking telly! So, I don't necessarily have to sit here anymore watching you guys on YouTube. I can now just chill out in the luxury of my lounge and watch it on my TV. So, so happy about that. I can't believe it's really weird actually hearing me on my TV. It's really strange indeed. But yeah, that's my little... In bout of happiness today, something crazy I discovered I could do. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. You take care, and I will be back tomorrow. And tomorrow, I will be doing my Beyonce Pulses perfume review. So until then, you take care, and I'm gone. Bye for now.